Welcome to Recruiter. So the first thing you need to do is open your web browser and then type in our URL in your navigation bar. So our URL is recruitr171.herokuapp.com. And once you type that in, you're presented with our landing page. So when you go over here, type in your email in the email field and hit submit. So when you do this, you're presented with your Google Sheet, which contains our recruiter platform. So then you would click here. And then if you happen to forget the link or forget to bookmark it, you can simply type in your email again and you will be presented with the link. So type it in and then you'll be presented with this. And then you can click the link and then here's your Google Sheet. So first thing you need to do is set up the text message alerts. So for this, you have to go to Tools, Script Editor, and then you have to click on this time thing. And then, so some of you may have a trigger set up already, some of you may not. So let's say if you don't. So let's set one up. So under Run, you would change this to Main, and then leave Time Driven the same. And then for our timer, you can actually change this to text you at a specific time, or every minute, or five minutes, or ten minutes, or every hour. But we're going to stick with day timer for here, and you can customize it to your own working. So let's say I want it to text me from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. So then you would hit save, and then you can close out of this. Sometimes you might need it to allow permissions, and when that shows up, just simply just hit allow, and you should be good to go. So exit out of this, and then you can go back to the platform. So we have some graphs to just help you keep track of your recruiting. So your process, rejected, offer extended, and progress, and what industries you're applying to, and then what disciplines or departments you're applying to. So they're presented in very nice pie charts. So if you scroll down again, you're presented with a pretty simple platform here. So for status, you can choose either in process, offer extended, or rejected. And hit the company name, position title, industry, discipline, all the basic stuff. So today's date is March 19th. So today it looks like we have an info session one for Jane Street, as well as a couple other things. So if you set up your trigger, for example, from like 6 to 7 p.m., it'll send you a text sometime between that time frame. So if you check your messages, and I have a MacBook so I can check my iMessage. So it shows up right here. So you have an info session in one for Jane Street coming up today at 12 p.m. And then if you go back to the sheet, it looks like, yep, Jane Street, info session one, 12 p.m. on March 19th. It checks out. Another feature of our sheet is that dates in the past are automatically grayed out so that you can only focus on recruitment in the future. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a very simple platform, very easy to use, and it's a great way for people to keep track of their recruitment.